subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Asian Elephant. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy Hero. Hero, do you want to help me plant an apple tree? Let's start by digging a hole. Great! Now let's place this apple seedling into the hole and cover the hole. We only need to give the seedling some water so it can grow well. Hey, did you see that, Hero? Let's check out what is hiding behind that tree. Whoa! It's an elephant! I think it's a baby elephant. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, young one. Hi, Katie. So did you find anything about the baby elephant? Hi, Leo. The elephant you found is an Asian elephant, the largest land animal in Asia. Though they are smaller than the African elephant, Asian elephants can grow up to three meters tall. Wow, that's so big! Elephants have long noses called trunks. They use their trunks like we use our hands. With their trunks, they can greet each other like a handshake and pick up objects as heavy as a tree. As heavy as a tree? Wow, elephant trunks sure are strong. Earlier, we saw the baby elephant grab some grass with its trunk. That's because they need to eat a lot of food. They eat all kinds of grasses, small plants, bushes, fruit, twigs, tree bark, and roots. Where do Asian elephants live? The Asian elephant can be found in lowland forests and grasslands of India, China, and Southeast Asia. Baby elephant must be hungry. We should bring it back to its mother. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. footprints up ahead. Let's follow it. Wait, Leo. We've been walking for a long time, and Hero and Baby Elephant seem thirsty. Hmm, you're right. Perhaps we should take a break. <coughs> Wait, Elephant. Where are you going? <coughs> Smart Elephant, you found water. He's using his trunk as a shower. <coughs> Wow! <laughs> That's wet! <laughs> what is it, Hero? Oh dear, there are crocodiles! We'd better get away from here! What's the matter, baby elephant? Those crocodiles are getting closer! A mouse? Don't tell me you're afraid of a mouse! Leo, the crocodiles! Uh, Hero, could you? <coughs> okay, now let's go! So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! If you want to find the baby elephant's herd, just look for the color gray. Not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay. But look for the color gray. I see. So not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay, but, but look, look for, for the, the color, color gray. gray. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find the baby elephant's herd and mother, 
You have to look for the color gray. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the baby elephant's herd. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is. But those are rocks. So let's keep looking. So is that gray? Yes, it is. But those are not elephants. Those are rhinos. So let's continue. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is. And it's a herd of elephants. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, it must be the baby elephant's mother. We did it. We found the baby elephant's herd and mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Today, we found a baby Asian elephant in our garden. We learned that the Asian elephant live in lowland forests and have wide padded feet. So we went to the lowland forest and brought baby elephant back home to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian star tortoise. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball! Hey, where could it be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And, as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, guys. Let's continue on foot. Look, Leo. There is a man over there. What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise. Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. 
so he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. <coughs> Hero, wait for us! Wow, there are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew, let's put them back into the container carefully. Hmm, now that we have so many tortoises, what should we do with them? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. I see you've rescued many Indian star tortoises. Good job, Junior Rangers. But we don't know where we can find a home for all these tortoises, Ranger Rocky. Natural sunlight is good for the tortoises' shells. It keeps them strong. So if you want to find a home for the tortoises, just look for a dry place with sunlight. Not for a brave night or a pretty kite, but look for a dry place with sunlight. I see. So not for a brave night or a pretty kite, but look for a dry place with sunlight. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the tortoises, you have to look for a dry place with sunlight. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a good home for the tortoises. Is this a dry place with sunlight? No, it's a pond. So let's continue. What is this? It's a cave, so there's no sunlight. Let's keep looking. Is this a dry place with sunlight? It's dry. There is sunlight. And there's even tall grass for the tortoises to hide in. This seems like the perfect home. Great job, Hero. We're coming over. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it. We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Yay! <laughs> an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Kalugo. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. I'm going to fold paper planes, Hero. There, a paper plane. Let's see if it can fly. That's okay, Hero. I'll just make another one. Let's make this paper plane fly further. Oh no! The paper plane hit a bird! Is it hurt? Hey, this isn't a bird! And I think it's unharmed. That's strange. This animal has a lot of skin around its body. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie! So what did you find? You're just in time, Leo. The animal in our garden is a Malayan Kalugo. It's also known as the Sunda Flying Lemur. But actually, it doesn't fly, it glides. The Kalugo has a flap of skin that stretches from its neck to all of its four legs. It is called a patagium. Using its patagium, 
the Kalugo can glide from tree to tree over long distances in the rainforest where it lives. It can glide over 100 meters without losing much height. Wow, that's so cool! The Malayan Kalugo can be found in the rainforests of some Southeast Asian countries. They only feed on leaves, flowers, and fruits. By the way, the Kalugo you found is still young. A young Kalugo takes about two to three years to reach its full size and to glide on its own. It was probably learning how to fly when it collided with your paper plane. Normally, a mother Kalugo will carry her young with her as she glides around the rainforest. Hmm, this young Kalugo can't glide very well yet. We have to bring it back to the rainforest to find its mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. an open space with tall trees. Do you see any Kalugos up in the trees, Katie? No, Leo, but I smell something burning. <laughs> what is it, Hero? There's smoke over there. Oh no, it's a fire. We have to put it out before it spreads to the rest of the rainforest. Kalugo! The fire must have frightened the Kalugo. It should be okay for now, Katie. First, let's take care of that fire. There are fire extinguishers in the Jeep. Let's get them. Hero, stay away from the fire. <laughs> oh no, the fire has grown. And the Kalugo is up in that burning tree. Come on, Katie. We have to put the fire out and save the Kaluko. But make sure you don't get too close to the fire. The Kaluko is trapped. It needs to jump and glide away from the tree. But the Kaluko is still too young. <laughs> You're right, Hero. We have to put more trust in the Kaluko. You can do it, Kaluko! to put out the fire. Now we can continue our search for your mother. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. Kalugos are nocturnal animals. They rest in tree holes during the day. So if you want to find the young Kalugo's mother, just look for a tree with a tree hole. Not for a totem pole or a big nose troll, but look for a tree with a tree hole. I see. So not for a totem pole or a big nose troll, but, but look, look for, for a tree, tree with, with a tree, tree hole. hole. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young Kalugo's mother, you have to look for a tree with a tree hole. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a tree with a tree hole. Is this a tree hole? No, it's a bird's nest. Let's continue looking. What do we have here? That's not a tree hole. It's a beehive. Let's move on. What's this? It's a tree hole. And there's a Kalugo. It might be the mother of the young Kalugo. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found the young Kalugo's mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found 
found a Malayan Kalugo in our garden. We also learned that Kalugos can glide through the air over long distances in open spaces in the rainforest. So we went to the rainforest and reunited the young Kalugo with its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Oriental Pied Hornbill. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm picking apples for Mom so she can make an apple pie. Do you want to help me look for some ripe apples? <coughs> oh, here's a nice ripe apple. Ah, oh, this one's good too. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Is there something in that tree? Oh, it's just a lizard. <coughs> <gasps> that big bird is trying to catch the lizard. That bird has such a big beak. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, birdie. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is an oriental pied hornbill. There are many types of hornbills in the world. They can look very different from one another, but all of them have long beaks that curve downwards. Wow, look at all those big beaks. The hornbill in our garden tried to catch a lizard with its beak. Besides lizards, Oriental pied hornbills eat animals like frogs, small birds, and large insects. They also feed on wild fruits. By the way, Oriental pied hornbills live in the rainforests of South and Southeast Asia. Hmm, we should take the Oriental pied hornbill back to the rainforest, or it might eat all the fruit in our garden. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Why have all these trees been cut down? These trees might have been cut down for wood. Wood is used to make furniture, paper, and many other things. Or maybe these trees have been cleared so houses can be built on the land. Sadly, many animals, including the Oriental Pied Hornbill, lose their homes when forests are destroyed. That's sad. We'd better drive deeper into the forest. Hopefully, the trees aren't cut there. What's that sound? Leo, stop. Look, there are people cutting down trees. <laughs> oh no, that tree's gonna fall on us. Phew, that was close. Did you hear that, Leo? I hear it too. Hornbill, where are you going? Sit tight. We're going after it. Maybe it's trying to find its way home. I can't see it anymore. There it is. There you are, Mr. Hornbill. Don't worry. We'll help you find your home. But where can we find the Hornbill's home? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the male hornbill's home, just look for a sealed nest in a tree. Not for a rusty old key or a glass of iced tea, but look for a sealed nest in a tree. I see. So not for a rusty old key or a glass of iced tea, but, but look, look for a sealed, sealed nest, nest in, in a, a tree. tree. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. 
To find the hornbill's home, you have to look for a sealed nest in a tree. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a sealed nest in a tree. Is that a sealed nest in a tree? It's a nest, but it's not sealed. That nest belongs to a different bird. Let's move on. What is that? It's a hole in a tree, but there are owls inside. It's an owl's nest. Let's look somewhere else. Is this a sealed nest in a tree? It looks like it. And that's the beak of a female hornbill. It's the hornbill's nest. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, Leo. The hornbill is collecting some figs for its mate and chicks. I can hear the baby hornbills. We did it. We found the oriental pied hornbill's nest. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! an oriental pied hornbill in our garden. We learned that oriental pied hornbills seal their nests with mud and that the male hornbill brings food to its mate and the chicks. So we went to the rainforest and helped the hornbill find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs>